Now, please, please, let me advise you. As a young man, as a young woman, grow large in your spirit. Grow very large. Give yourself to fasting. Give yourself to prayer now. From no light to sunlight, then candlelight, then Shekinah illumination. It doesn't make sense. We are going, there is going to be a movement. Yes, there's going to be a movement. And that's why God reserved some anointing for this time that he has not yet exhibited because he wanted us to come into full alignment and understanding of the Adonai, the master dimension, where you are not the one that calls the shots. You are not the king of your existence. And every might that you have, you ascribe it unto God as you cast your crown. Because only one must be elevated in the days of which we speak. Only one must be elevated. Only one must be elevated. Lucifer. He was the cherub that was in charge of the mineral earth. If you read the book of Ezekiel chapter 4, you can confirm what I'm talking about. Then, there was no man. God had not yet created man. So he used to take reports from the mineral earth to heaven. And when he gets to heaven, in the book, in the writings of Isaiah chapter 12, 14, verse 12 to 14, when he ascends into heaven, because right there in the courts of God, he's the only one that is recognized. So even though he's a light bearer, Lucifer, as he goes into the courts of heaven, his light becomes dim. Because only one must be seen in that place. That's the reason why the seraphims, they gave themselves brain. And two covered their face. Two wings covered their feet. So that their identity will not be seen in his presence. Because only one must be conspicuous in that place, in that, in that, in that, in that layer. Anytime he ascends, while he's in the middle of it, he is, he is, he is, he is gorgeous. But when he ascends into the heavens, the flame dies. That's why in, that, in, in those courts you will find the elders. They can't put on the crown. They have earned the crown by faithfulness in their service. But in, in, in the presence of God, that's not where to wear it. Only one must be elevated. Only one must be seen. Only one's name must be glorified. And his light is supposed to shine through our vessels. And that's why the Bible says that we have this treasure in eighteen vessels that the excellency of the power might be of God and not of us. Let the excellency be yours forever in the name of Jesus. Oh God, all the advantages, all the wealth, all the opportunity, all the anointing that we have gathered in our journey with you. Let the excellency of this glory be of you and not of us. Only one that knows Adonai can pray like that. So Lucifer knew that he will never be number one in this estate. That was why she decided to rebel and to set up a system where he will be the authority. Are you with me? Oh, you're not with me. Do you realize that when he decided to rebel and set up his own, authority, his own kingdom where he's the one that is in charge? The power that God gave him, God did not withdraw it. Because Jesus acknowledged that he had power. He said, you shall tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. So God could allow him to go with power. That's why power is not a proof that a man has a master. When you see somebody raging with power, the next thing we need to ask is, by what authority do you do this? I don't have time. <laughs> Adonai. Woo! Adonai. Adonai. A young man 
man broke a ministry because people were hailing him that he was more anointed than the pastor.